Hello everyone, welcome to this English class. Today I shall explain a grammar topic namely articles. Children, do you know what articles are? Well, articles are words used before a noun. They include the words a, an and the. I repeat, articles are words that are used before a noun. They include the words a, an and the. Now look at the following examples. I had an apple today. The word an is an article. It is used before the noun apple. We reach the airport on time. The word the is an article. It is used before the noun airport. Marianne has a beautiful gown. A is an article and it is used before the adjective beautiful. So students, articles can be used before adjectives also in certain cases. There are various types of articles depending on whether a noun is specific or non-specific. There are two types of articles. They are definite articles and indefinite articles. Let us understand each of them with examples. First one, definite articles. The definite article is the word the. I repeat, definite article is the word the. It refers to a specific noun which is known both to the speaker and the listener. That means when we are referring to a noun which is already known. That means when we are referring to a specific noun, to a particular noun, then we use the definite article the. Example, this is the school I go to. So, we are talking about the specific school, right? So, we use the article the. This is the school I go to. This is the watch my father gifted me on my birthday. So, we are talking about the specific watch, right? So, therefore, the word the is a definite article and it is used to refer to specific nouns. I hope you have understood what definite articles are. Now, let us understand indefinite articles. Indefinite articles include the words a or an. Indefinite article refers to a non-specific noun. That is a noun which is non, not known to both the speaker and the listener. It is used for singular nouns only. I repeat, indefinite articles include the words a or an. Indefinite articles refer to non-specific noun. That is, something which is not known. And it is used for singular nouns only. You will understand this by few examples. Let us see further. Example, please give get me a watch. So, here the noun is watch and before that is the article a. Uh. So, here we are talking about any watch, not any particular watch, but any watch. So, therefore, we use the indefinite article a watch. Please get me a watch. Second one, please give me an honest reply. Here also we are talking about non-specific, right? So, therefore, you use the word an. My mother told me a nice story. We are not talking about any particular story, but a story. So, therefore, we use the indefinite article. I hope you have understood what indefinite articles are and when do we use them. Now, when do we use 
a or an we have learned that a and an are indefinite articles used to refer to non specific nouns they are used for singular nouns but how do we know when do we use a and in which case do we use an let's understand this choosing a or an a is used before words that start with consonants example my uncle has bought a car now here the noun car begins with a consonant that is c so therefore we use the indefinite article a and not an i repeat a is used before words that start with consonants in this case car begins with a consonant and therefore we use the indefinite article a an is used before words that start with consonants but consonants that are silent for example rohan is an honest boy here h may be a consonant but it is silent so therefore we use an understand a and an are both used for singular nouns but a is used for nouns that begin with consonants whereas an is used for nouns that start with consonants but which is silent as in case of honest that is words beginning with h articles for uncountable nouns remember in case of uncountable nouns never use a or an with them so in case of nouns that are uncountable i hope you all know what uncountable nouns are nouns that we cannot count for example milk sand water these are uncountable nouns so in that case indefinite article is only used for singular nouns but we cannot use a or an for uncountable nouns instead you may use the word some again i repeat in case of uncountable nouns never use a or an instead you can use the word some example please give me some water we do not say please give me a water or please give me an water we say please give me some water i need some ice to prepare the cold drink we do not say please i need an ice okay or i need a ice but we say i need some ice to prepare the cold drink there were some dust particles on the table so in case of uncountable nouns like water ice dust we use the word some remember do not use a or an for uncountable nouns now in certain cases articles can be omitted occasionally articles are omitted altogether before certain nouns in these cases the article is implied but not actually present certain articles are omitted in case of proper nouns like india kerala it is also omitted in case of art science and sports like maths football cricket etc so let's take for example we went for a dinner is wrong it is incorrect we simply say we went out for dinner in this case the noun is is dinner and we do not use any article similarly my sister enjoys solving the maths is an incorrect statement whereas we say my sister enjoys solving maths here 
the noun maths does not make use of any article before it now that you have understood the types of articles and their usage in sentences let us try to solve an exercise so you may be ready with your pen and book and you may attempt these questions you have to fill the blank with correct articles so i hope you are ready fill the blanks with the correct articles given in the options i am reading dash interesting story options are a an and the you may pause the video and write the answer in the notebook and once you have done that you may check the answer i am reading an interesting story Second, the children enjoyed Dash Children's Day party at their school today. Answer: The children enjoyed children the Children's Day party at their school today. I have Dash excellent idea. Answer: I have an excellent idea. Ronak has bought Dash new car. Ronak has bought a new car. Noel gave dash honest reply. Answer: Noel gave an honest reply. Sixth one. This is dash pen that I had lost. Answer: This is the pen that I had lost. There I met dash old man. Answer: There I met an old man. Rachel is dash kind girl. Answer: Rachel is a kind girl. Karen is dash obedient child. Answer: Karen is an obedient child. This is dash museum we visited last year. Answer: This is the museum we visited last year. So students, I hope you have understood. I hope you have scored well in this exercise. If not, please go through the video once again. Try to understand the different types of articles, the a and an, and where they are used in which sentences they are used. Once you have understood the concept, you may retry solving the exercise. So thank you once again. Thank you for participating. I hope you enjoyed. So. Take care and happy learning. God bless you all.